Hello college golf fans and welcome to a Haskins Watch video presented by Stiefel Nicholas. I'm Asher Wildman being joined by Golf Week's Ryan Lavner. Ryan, before we talk about some of the standout players from the first half of the fall season, let's talk about two players who were in the running for this award last year, Patrick Canlay who won it and Peter Uline. Two players we haven't seen much of this fall. Right, and, and for different reasons. Uline hasn't been in the lineup for the past three events. Still unsure what's going on there, but he's going to be back in the spring. And Cantlay, you know, if you think about it a year ago, he was a great freshman to watch, but no one expected the season that he was going to have. Now he's playing in tour events, he's taking time off to get caught up with class, so he's, he's only got one event under his, uh, under his belt, but he's going to have many more. You know, the Haskins Award goes to the player of the year. But one player is making a case for comeback player of the year if there was a word out there for it. It's Eugene Wong. What's gone back into the senior from Oregon? It's really an amazing story because last year he was outside the top 150 on yeah. the rankings. And now he's got three top 10s this year. He medaled at the Alistair McKenzie. He was runner-up at PGA West. So it's been a remarkable turnaround story and something that we hope is going to continue into the spring. Also currently ranked second in the Golf Week Sagan rankings. Two freshmen. Now, last year, Cantlay won this as a freshman. We have two more freshmen. We had such a great, outstanding, incoming freshman class in college golf this year. Patrick Rogers, who's already won once, and Jordan Spieth, who, quite frankly, could have won twice. Right, and, you know, when we talked about it before the season, we knew these freshmen were going to be dynamic, and they'd, they'd make an impact right away. Patrick Rogers did it in his first start at Olympia Field, so that was great. And Spieth, like you said, he had, he had chances at the Jerry Payton and Nicholas, kicked him away, but he's, he's leading here at Isleworth, and he very well may... Uh, win player of the year still. I think we might have another freshman Haskins Award winner. He's, he's, he's that good. He is, yeah. All right, well, one guy that gets overshadowed also at Texas is one of Jordan Spieth's teammates, and he's had an outstanding year himself, and that's Texas's senior, Dylan Fratelli. He's got to be the, the most underrated player in college golf. He's already oh, yeah. got two runner-up finishes this season, and he's a, he's a main reason why Texas is, is number one in the rankings right now. Yeah, Spieth has been great, but this guy's been equally as good, and one, two, you can't beat those two at Texas. Well, it's pretty interesting. We got two seniors in Wong and Fratelli, outstanding seasons. Rogers and Spieth, obviously having great years as part of that great freshman class. How do you see this one shaping out? You know, if, if Spieth can keep up this pace, it's, it's going to be hard to overlook him. If he had finished those two tournaments, and he's leading here at Iowa by four, if he had finished those off, we wouldn't even be having this discussion. It'd be a sure. no-brainer. Three of the top four fields in, in the fall, and he won them? Ryan, I look at this as the Kentucky Derby. We got 16 horses still trying to file their way into the gates. I mean, this is just too close to call. We got a long way to go. But hey, the first half of the fall season is in the books. We've seen some outstanding play from freshmen and seniors, including sophomores and juniors, who we'll get to later in the year. For Ryan Lavner, I'm Asher Wildman. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the Haskins Watch presented by Stiefel Nicholas.